I'm seeing my life happen very vividly right now. This video is about to be about my birthday. It's about turning 23. And I'm seeing all of like the secrets and shit of life. That's that's the premise of this video. I am currently headed to uh, get a plant. My birthday is on Monday, uh, the day in which y'all will see this video, August 22nd. And I need more life in my space to symbolize the life that I have in this space. Like I am really Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Cameron. I'm right there with them niggas. The premise of this video is that I really figured this life shit out. But before I give you all the secrets, you gotta go run these errands. So let's go get this plant, yo. What you say, Jersey? God's plan. Got him. God's plan. Hey y'all, let me be, I don't even know if y'all can see her in the back. I don't even want to record this lady, but we shouldn't have known me. All right, so check me out. <laughs> this older black lady was trying to cross the street <laughs> and she had crutches. Like she had one crutch and then a boot leg. And so like she was walking and you know how like you gotta let pedestrians. <laughs> you know how you gotta let pedestrians cross the street is it wrong with me that I just, I look straight ahead because I knew it was going to take her ass too long to hobble across the street, bro. I just act like I ain't see her. God, you know my heart, man. <laughs> I'm back, baby, with a thug. Fucking with a thug. We be done a thug. That should be because the trunk size. That hurt. Yo, oh shit. <laughs> That's nice. Is, is this the camera you always use? Yeah, I always use this one. Oh. I got something to tell you. You have been in a lot of content that has yet to be seen by the world. I'm really being a prophet when I'm saying this, and I'm so serious. I can really see the future. And that's something else that I wanted to tell you about. That you were about to become a celebrity the same time that I become a celebrity. And here's why. For lack of better terms, you've been a consistent character in all of the vlogs. And it's gonna come to a point in time in which fans are gonna watch the vlogs and they're gonna be like, oh my God, we haven't seen Jared in a minute. Are y'all like still friends? Is there beef? Like, what's the tee hee hee? I'm gonna keep making your little cameos here and there when the content pop up so i don't know how many times i've introduced you period but for the sake of right now just to say we have it y'all this is jared he's fucking great he got invited to the oscars got invited to uh bt awards oh this is the same oscars that uh chris rock got slapped the shit out of and this is and also beyonce and beyonce Keep my wife's name out your Second thing I wanted to tell you, family, I really think I want to revisit everything and make Fortune Teller a part of my bio. And this is why I really thank God for my vision. And I think that I am able to see things far before like they come about. I feel that same way when I'm recording videos. I'm thinking like I'm about to edit. Like I'm always thinking long term. And that's why all of it seems like cohesive and flows because I've already thought about this before it even became a thing. And I'm seeing my life happen very vividly right now. That's that's the premise of this video. Like I'm real life, like I get life differently. And I know for a fact, all of this shit is about to blow. I'm a fortune teller. And that's how I want to tell my story. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add that to the bio. I think you should. I think that's, that's a really interesting way to, to shape and put content creator, producer, director, and put it all into one. You know, I do it when I get back to the crib. Um, I also call you when I get back to the crib too, cause okay. I'm in IKEA right now. I'm about to get a plant. That is such a such a um task. I'm about to run to IKEA and get a plant. Yeah. That, is, that is a really nice task. <laughs> I realize that like I, I really am my own boss, and this shit is kind of wild. <laughs> Real quick, now this real quick, this real quick. You remember when your uh, when your nail tech said uh, about a Japanese money trick? I accidentally bought one. His name is Babylon. I'm gonna cut you right there. <laughs> All right.
<laughs> All right, I love you. It is funny that you at the bank and I got a money tree. That's crazy. That's that's wild. That means something. That means something. I'm just saying. That's wild. But I love you. I love you. All right, bro. Here we go. Michael Jordan. Okay. <clears throat> when I say fuck Michael Jordan, I don't mean fucking directly. I mean, he cool. I'm more of a go person myself, but every time someone turns 23, it's always Jordan. But he wasn't the only nigga on the court. Not even the only the world, the number 23. But you know who felt this the most? Scottie Pippen. Without Scotty on the floor, Michael Jordan averaged 30.9 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 4.2 assists a game. MJ was 38 and, and 38 and 19 without Scotty on the floor. Yeah, for the, for the sake of the argument, I really wanted MJ to need Scotty more than he did, but <laughs> more of the story, we need everybody that's on the team, not just the star. Oh, and uh, shout out Jimmy. And that's life secret number one. You must value relationships. Everybody that you've ever connected with, they have their own individual purpose. They have their own individual like gifts. And you need everybody because where you lack, other people have. And the saying goes, it go both ways. That's what a relationship is. It's push and pull, it's balance. Freshman year of Morehouse, I, I heard this quote from a speaker and I swear to God, I, I'll never forget it. If you wanna go fast, go alone. But if you wanna go far, go together. And yeah. <laughs> all I'm saying is Africans be wise. As of lately, everything that I've been focusing on is like, how can we all get to our goals together? Like I have so many friends that, you know, I'm about to showcase to the world too that everybody can see. Like, y'all look at their own art, look at their own things. Like, I'm got some stuff in the works, y'all. Stay tuned for content, I promise you. I'm working on this interview series. Y'all are gonna see the interview series. I might even give y'all a little sneak peek of what I'm talking about. In my mind, I'm thinking like, oh yeah, this nigga just work out. Like, I'm not thinking that this is something that you love, something that you have a lot of passion in. So my question is like, did you know back then that like fitness and working out was your lane? Or did it like come over time and you just realize like, damn, like I do do this shit every day. I really do enjoy this a lot. So the funny part was- Expect more, expect more of that. Definitely expect more of that. The world needs to see them. I'm inspired by these people, man. I learned so much from these individuals, so much from these conversations. So stay tuned. Strictly for the lovers. That's the book that I'm reading right now. It's called Worth the Risk. And as you know, I just quit my job. If you haven't seen that video, click right there. Ding, ding, dong. In quitting my job, that was probably one of the boldest things I could have done right now. I still am working for myself and everything else in life right now. I promise you, it is really just clicking. There is a whole lot of good shit moving in my life. And it's really on the back end of secret number two. And secret number two is be your authentic self. I swear to God, like, as simple as it sounds, I am just now at the point in which I feel comfortable enough being my truest self, the cussing on camera, the showing y'all where I'm really at, what I'm really doing. Like, I had never had that confidence. I was always like, I wanna show y'all, but I'm gonna show like a private group of people. I'm only gonna show like a handful. And that's why y'all missed out on so much, or not y'all missed out, more so like, I didn't show y'all a lot of content because I had my own fears. Like, I was like, man, I'm really about to open up to the world like that. What if people judge me? What if, what if people see the videos and they, you know, articulate their own thoughts about who I am and, and that's not what I want them to say about me and their perspective might change but truthfully I'm so past that like my content has a target audience and if you're here you're a part of that target audience like all of that is by design and I'm speaking to my people I'm speaking to my audience nothing else changes and so anybody that don't want to tap in anybody that don't want to watch turn the video off find somebody else Everybody that's gang shit, subscribe, my nigga, it's lit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, God is so good, man. Yeah, man, just be yourself. That's, that's really, that's really it at its core. Like, you be yourself, the rest of it, I Here promise we go. you, know, it's falling into place. Like, y'all are literally going to be like, how the fuck did Cameron Mark Hill do this? 
and I'm gonna show you all. This is this is where you tap in. Y'all gonna see this first. I'm about to have explosive growth on YouTube. I don't know the subscriber count, but I do know that like by the end of like December for real, this channel's about to really grow. Y'all about to see a whole different type of content. Y'all are about to really witness the growth of me. And I'm so excited. Yeah, other celebrities, other just figures and other icons. We're all about to be connected, y'all. We're all about to be on the same page. <sighs> all right, yeah, that's uh, that's enough long talk. I'm about to get fully in birthday mode because I'm. this is the first time in a long time that I've really been excited about my birthday. I got some fire birthday content on the way. I'm going to give y'all a little sneak peek. Hold on. Yeah, I'll let y'all see that. That's all y'all getting. The rest of y'all can go watch over on my Instagram. That was a YouTube comment. Focus. Great content. So with that being said, for more great content, follow your boy. Uh, on Instagram, because I, I post content over on Instagram, and it'd be fire. I'd be telling stories over there. Subscribe to the channel if you know. Turn the bell on if you're freaky. That's all I got. Happy fucking birthday, Cameron. Everything else we can talk about next week. Peace.